That's Tommy Fisher. He's an ordinary, normal kid. A nice boy. He has a dog, a cat, two turtles, a lizard, and two hamsters. He likes marbles, cat pistols, cowboy hats, and baseball. He's sometimes clean, but most often he's dirty. He loves to ride his bike and pull his sister's hair. He's eight years old, not quite four feet tall, weighs 65 pounds, and once had a broken arm. Basically, he's a good boy, but there are times when, well, as I said, he's a normal boy. He has for years, like all other boys his age, displayed an insatiable curiosity. Why, he asks. What would happen if? In the imaginative, improbable mind of a child, the ordinary provokes curiosity. What's a cloud? Uh, what if it always rained? Where do caterpillars come from? What's electricity? On and on. An endless barrage of questions in order to understand the world in which he lives. A world full of questions that keep running through his mind and tripping off the end of his tongue. Now, I know so much about him because he's my boy my son. Sometimes I can read his mind like a book, and other times I'd swear I don't know him at all. But right now, for instance, he's probably wondering what makes our mixer run. <laughs> Eight is a wonder-filled age. Uh, Tommy, have you figured it out yet? Well, maybe I can help. You see, that mixer is a, well, it's an electric beater. What I mean is, well, it was made by an electrical manufacturing company. One of the many companies who manufacture all of the wonderful electrical things, that is, products, that we have today. Look, I think I can explain why we have these electrical things a lot easier by showing you. How about it? Good. Now go get your coat and let's go. Ready? Then let's get started. Oh, there's just one thing. Now, you've got to promise me to keep your eyes wide open and to observe everything you see, okay? Almost everywhere you look, Tommy, you see electricity at work. Now, take those men, for example. They use electrical things to help them build. And in any modern building, as you will see over and over again today, there are many different kinds of products, such as motors, controls, switches, wires, that are made by electrical companies. Every day, miles of wire and cable are braided and insulated and covered, produced to carry electricity throughout these buildings. The fixtures and mountings and the raceways that the wire and cable run through. All the things necessary to put electricity at your fingertips. And there are a lot of other things that they aid in developing that aren't directly connected with electricity. Why, they work hand in hand with other industries, which produce steel, aluminum, plastics, paint, insulating materials, all things which people produce for other people to use in their work. And even in making them, people use electricity. They use it in their work to cut and others to grind. Some use electricity and electrical products to hold and investigate. Others to help them clean and to polish, to listen and to transmit and transport. People have jobs using electrical products to write, to keep records of figures and statistical information. Why? Like we even use them to think for us. Directly and indirectly, a lot of electrical things make jobs possible. They talk to us, and they carry us up, down, and across by land and under it, over water, 
and beneath it, through the skies and even into space. In thousands of ways, the electrical products help us to accomplish our work and even create jobs for us. For millions of people, electricity and electrical things make work and make work easier, Tommy. But come on along now. We still have a lot more to see. That's another way in which electrical products play a big part in our lives. Our health, Tommy. Well, uh, you see, electricity is with us from the moment we're born. True, for some of us, it is more important than for others. But for everyone, throughout our lives, our health depends upon the performance of electricity in many different ways. Electrical products play a part in the treatment and diagnosis of illness, ailments, and injuries, from the simplest to the most complicated. Doctors use electricity and electrical products to aid and improve our hearing, and to examine our eyes, to clean and fill our teeth. The products of electrical firms are used by doctors and hospitals to sterilize, and to examine and see beyond the reaches of the human eye, to keep those of us who can't breathe, breathing. And today, electrical research has even made it possible to keep life itself ticking through time with an electrically induced heartbeat. These products help in mending our bones and tissue to chart our body functions and locate its weaknesses. And just think of the number of ways we use electricity at home to comfort us and ease pain with heat and vaporized medicines by heating our houses or cooling them. You know, you'd squawk a lot more about taking a bath if it weren't for our electric hot water heater. And what would mom do without our electric blanket? A lot of people use electrical products to help them keep in better physical condition and shape. And just about everyone takes pills or vitamins or medicine of one sort or another when they need them. And these medicines, drugs, and health aids could not have been discovered nor tested nor produced with such exactness and accuracy without using machines and other products that have been developed by the electrical industry. They are valuable contributors to the prescriptions doctors give us and to the packaged health we find right at our fingertips. Now be careful, don't spill those. Tommy, now look what you did. Well, I'll take care of it. Come on, let's have lunch. That's right. Those two are all ways in which we use electrical products. These are just commercial versions of the same thing mom uses at home. Mothers today have a lot of helpmates that make their life and work around the house easier and more efficient. They use them to cook and keep food too. Why, mom can bake and broil fry, boil or steam, grill, toast, and brew my morning coffee. All by just setting a dial and letting temperature controlled electricity take over. Electrical things help her to clean up too. And they wash and dry our dishes. They make housekeeping a lot pleasanter than it used to be. Why the products of electrical manufacturing companies make our houses more attractive. The decorative laminates that we use in our houses are made by these firms. And in personal ways, she uses electricity to do things that used to take so much more of her time and were never as satisfactory. Our whole house depends upon electricity and its yards and yards of cable and wire and switches and outlets, supplying the full power and energy to make the house and the things we use in it function for us. Don't forget me, Tommy. 
I use electrical products to help me keep clean and neat looking. And I depend on them to help me keep our house in good repair and tip-top condition, too. Well, I couldn't begin to tell you all the ways in which the electrical industry has contributed to our comfort at home. Uh, I think that's about all you're going to get out of that, Tommy. Why don't we get started again? And uh, take a bottle of those vitamins out of that, too, please. Yes, that's another one. Now you're catching on. Come on, let's go. We've got a lot more to see. Didn't I tell you all you had to do was to keep your eyes open? Just remember, if there were no electrical firms, we'd have none of these wonderful things. You never can pass that window, can you? Well, I guess we can spare a couple of minutes. Go on in. To this man too, Tommy. The manufacturers in the electrical industry are most important. He knows full well another vital part they play in our lives. In this world of tension and international stress in which we live, and today when we can still remember all too well the physical pain and mass destruction of war, it is comforting to know that an electrical network of detection and warning instruments stands ready to alert the thousands of men manning equipment dependent upon the millions of pieces of electrical devices. The circuits, transistors, wire and cable, starters, switches and relays that control and maintain the performance of the modern-day weapons of a secure nation. Those modern instruments and equipment that are made possible by the engineering know-how and technological advances of the electrical industry's contributions to the defense of our nation and our lives. All over our nation, the silent servant, electricity, stands ready to help us to protect ourselves and uphold that in which we believe. contributions and research of the companies of the electrical industry, perhaps more than those of any other single force, are tuned to the countdown for security. Living as we do within an atmosphere of world ascension, electrical products are the pulse beat of national security. Ready to go now? It's getting late and we've got a couple of more stops to make. First though, I want to show you where electricity is made. This is an electric utility plant. It's where they actually make or generate electricity. Herbie Miller's father works here. You know him. Let's go inside. Now under that huge cover is the turbine generator. You hear that hum? That's electricity in the making. All around you, power is being made. You know how it's made, Tommy? Well, a turbine is just like a toy windmill or pinwheel. When you blow on it, the pressure of your breath in the veins makes it turn. Of course, it's much bigger, and they use steam instead of air. And there's not just one wheel, but row after row of carefully balanced wheels fitted with highly polished metal vanes or buckets. Now, 
If you were to attach the pinwheel to a coil of wire that moved through a magnetic field, you would be making electricity. Well, they do that with the turbine. They attach it to a generator, which is more than just a coil of wire. A 50,000 kilowatt generator has about 12,000 pounds of copper coils in it. So the turbine is attached to the generator, and the two of them working together make electricity. Now let's take a look outside. Over there, they send out the electricity to intermediate points called substations. Gigantic metal towers are strung out across the country from every utility, supporting the heavy cables that carry the electricity to the substations. From there, it passes along other lines and through a lot of other electrical equipment to homes and factories, offices, theaters, broadcasting stations, stores, wherever it's needed in all the farms, suburbs, towns, and cities. It's because of plants like this, Tommy, that Mom can use our mixer. And all the other people we've seen can use and do the things they do. But you know, son, it's getting late, and we've got one more stop. In cities all over the country, Tommy, electricity is working for people, working for their amusement and entertainment. Now, to some people, this might not seem as important as the contributions to, well, say, national defense, for instance. But just the same, the things we do and use to have fun and to learn and improve ourselves are very necessary items in our lives. Did you ever stop to think, Tommy, of all the things you do for fun? that are made possible because of electricity. And as you grow up, Tommy, there'll be more and more things you'll do because they're fun and bring you pleasure and self-fulfillment of one sort or another. More and more things that hundreds of thousands of people are developing and producing to help you find enjoyment and pleasure. Didn't think your old dad was so smart, did you, Tommy? Well, electrical things are one thing I do know about. Say, what do you think I do all day down at the plant? Well, someday when you're old enough, I hope you'll want to know more about the electrical manufacturing business. Because, son, it's growing every day. Tommy, I think we better start for home. It's been a big day, Tommy. And you've seen quite a bit, haven't you, son? A lot of it, like most people, you'll forget. You'll grow up accepting the marvelous, wonder-filled age in which you live with hardly a passing glance. But maybe that's the way it should be. All of these things you've seen don't ask our thanks or recognition. They just go on serving and working for us, growing and expanding our world, your world. Good night, son.